Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Sword Art Online VS, and I gotta say that it really depends on how you want to play this game, because right at the beginning is when you could get the beginning characters, right? Like, you know, easily, and, you know, you becoming stronger allows you to pretty much progress through the story mode of the game. But now the problem here is that there is no story mode. Right? I mean, that's the thing, right? You see, um, so the only thing that is left here is actually competing in the events. So as you can see here, this is pretty much the story mode. And there's not much story to it, right? I mean, if I played hard, there's extra. So pretty much you can beat it at level 60 something. And it's not hard to get there, to be honest. And then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. And it's not that difficult. Because there's not much to the game, right? At this ver current moment in time. I'm guessing what they want to do is they want to put out a game that has a bit of story and stuff like that. And then they put out a lot of events. And as they're doing this event, they will slowly develop the game. Because, you know, as you play the event, you're going to put money in, right? And then putting money in allows them to have money to kind of develop the game. So that's how it seems like it's happening. So they put out this ranking event and I swear I am not competing in these ranking events anymore because it's totally uh, not rewarding, right? I mean, I don't want, I mean, it's there, right? And stuff like that, but it's not worth it. But that's how they're doing it. And, you know, in order to be good in these ranking events, it's not about skills, it's not about anything. It's about you scouting for what you need and or you know scouting to upgrade your character right it's not just uh getting the character anymore now you have to upgrade it so there's multiple scouts here and you really want to focus on who you want to get i mean right now there's only a handful of characters i believe let me go on in here so here are the handful of characters which includes asuna silica leafa sinon kirito and liz and right now is a flame event. And, you know, for the flame event, you'd want Kirito or Liz. Right? And, you know, Sinon is here. I don't know. I don't feel she's so important. And you can always use this one. I don't really know which one has a better drop rate. I mean, even though it says, oh, you got, it's 2%. But do can you really believe in the 2%? Right? I mean... You know, half the times these rates don't even make sense, right? So, I don't know. I mean, honestly, you're either better doing... Because I, I'd never scouted these things and gotten something, right? So, anyways, let's do some scouts to kind of show you the thing. Here's the flame one. I'm going to do 10. I did the Asuna one before. Didn't get Asuna. So, you know, I'm not sure. I think the standard one might be the best one. Right? Because these, these things that are coming out, they try to make it seem like they're good. Right? But the standard one is the basic one. I don't know. I mean, that's just my guess. I don't have enough premium currency to test it out. And I don't I want to put in any premium currency to test it out either. You notice I played through all the stages, so all my premium currencies are gone. I'm broke. Okay, some explosion there. It may look cool and everything, but honestly, you can't really tell. Actually, I guess you can, because at the end, you notice the X thing, the glowing thing? If it's not purple, it means the best one you got is the SR, which is unfortunate, but whatever. See, at the back, where it's, there's an X, right? See, right there in the middle? If it's not rainbow, then, you know, it sucks. So anyways, as you can see, I actually spend more than this. It's just, this is how much I have left, right? Of the crystals. I mean, I had, I did like multiple scouts, not even in a video. But I just wanted to scout and I never got anything. And I usually did this character. I mean, this scout, you know, they, they have like Kirito highlighted and everything. And you didn't get anything. So anyways, I'm going to do the standard one just to test this one. Because standard one, like I was saying... I think like the standard one generally is better because it's just basically standard. I don't know. I mean, not 
it, it might be the same, right? Because I haven't got anything like I was saying. Honestly, you know, I don't even know this animation. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Look at the back. There's it's all it's just yellow again. Which means I got all SR. So anyways, these 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 scouts are just shit. But that's how it is in almost all the other games. So anyways. I mean I did a lot of scouts before, didn't get anything, and the same thing is happening here. You can use it to upgrade if that makes you happy, but honestly, it's not making me happy. See, I try to watch these animation and try to figure out the thing, right? But it looks like, I mean, it doesn't tell me much. But so far, I don't like the rates. I mean, obviously, the rates are bad in every game, but somehow in this game it's particularly bad. Because I feel like it's more like 1%, right, than what they're telling me. Which is, they're telling me it's, uh, they're telling me it's, um, 2%. But I feel like it's more like 1% or 0.1%. Oh, well, that's something new. We got a Sinon, but not the Sinon we were looking for. Then again, I wasn't even looking for a Sinon, so I don't know what to say about that. We got Leafa. The last ticket, and that's it. But you pretty much get a sense of how I'm feeling for this scout thing. And the difference between this one and the uh, the other one is the other one actually gives you an like it lets you move towards getting the character. This one, you're pretty much guaranteed not getting it. All right, so it's, it's all shit. There you go. That's my opinion of the scouts in this game.